Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon the master of martyrs and peace be upon your adorers. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. The conclusion of the activities of Rabi'a Shahada World Cultural Festival. A representative from Shiite Rights Watch arrives to Holy Samarqa. Islam is the second largest religion in 20 U.S. states. A formal delegation from Imam Ali Holy Shrine has visited the Indonesian capital Jakarta after finishing its work in Thailand by holding a conference with Alawite Justice and visiting many Hosseinias and mosques, along with various religious, cultural, and educational institutes in the Asian country. The delegation met with the president of the Ahl al-Bayt Charity Organization and its board of directors and discussed the activities of the organization. Then, the banner of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was granted to the organization and gifts were distributed to its members. The activities of the 10th Rabi'a Shahada World Cultural Festival were concluded on Friday afternoon in the Hall of Khatim al Anbiya at Imam Hussein Holy Shrine. The closing ceremony, which witnessed the participation of a large number of religious, cultural, and academic personalities, commenced with a Quranic recitation, followed by the speech of the General Secretariats of the Imam Hussein and Abbas Holy Shrines. Foreign delegations from Spain, India, and Portugal also delivered their speeches in the closing ceremony which witnessed the announcement of the winning documentary films as well. It is to mention that 57 films from Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and Argentina participated in the Husseini documentary film competition. Following the directions of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, on the importance of preaching and sponsoring orders, Karbala Seminary School, the school of Sheikh Ahmed bin Fad al-Hilli, may Allah bless his soul, has held its 11th annual preaching conference. The conference was held under the supervision of the eminent Ayatollah Sheikh Abdul Karim Al Ha'ari, with attendance of many scholars, orators, and Hausa students. The conference started with the Quranic recitation, followed by speeches of the participants, which were mainly focused upon the importance of preparing to the holy month of Ramadan. A representative from the Shiite Rights Watch organization arrived on Friday morning to the holy city of Samarra with a delegation from the office of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, after the latest attack on the city. Shiite Rights Watch delegate said that the bombs planted by the Takfiri groups prevented the delegation from arriving to Samarra on Thursday. The delegate of the Shiite Rights Watch added that the Iraqi army used tanks and planes and dozens of terrorists were killed, while some of the terrorists reportedly managed to escape. Clashes erupted between terrorists of the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Levant and Iraqi security forces responsible for protecting al Askariyin Holy Shrine, the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali al-Hadi and Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace be upon them, which had previously been targeted by a number of terrorist bombing attacks. The Iraqi army has placed the circle of Shiite soldiers to protect the shrines in Samarra against terrorist attacks. Bahraini police forces have detained 214 children across the country during raids on their homes and over the past year, the country's main opposition group said. In a new report titled Bahrain Repression, The Shadow of Tyranny, Bahrain's al wafaq National Islamic Society listed the human rights violations committed by the Manam regime in the course of 2013. According to the nearly 130-page report, Bahraini regime forces detained 214 children last year, with most of them being detained during raids on their homes. A number of the children were also taken from their schools. The report further said that the Bahraini regime made over 7,000 arbitrary arrests between 2011 and 2013. It is also highlighted that the demolition of religious structures in Bahrain, as well as Manama's restrictions on religious freedom. Thousands of Bahrainis have staged nationwide demonstrations against the Manama regime, calling for the Al Khalifa monarchy to relinquish power. According to the reports, the protesters chanted slogans against the Al Khalifa regime in the capital Manama and in several other cities. The angry demonstrators also called for the lifting of the emergency state in the country. There are still no reports on clashes between the protesters and the security. 
The fresh rallies come as a new report says Bahraini regime forces have detained 214 school children in 2013 during raids on their homes and even schools. The report by the main opposition group Al Wafaq also says that more than 7,300 people have been arrested since last year. A Chinese hospital has banned fasting for its Muslim employees. According to news sources, the hospital's Muslim staff will not be able to fast during the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of fasting in which able-bodied Muslims abstain from food and drink from sunrise to sunset. The hospital officials claim that fasting prevents the staff from carrying out their duties properly. It is to mention that the Muslim minority have been subject to discrimination and pressures. New data released from the U.S. Census Authority has found that Islam is the second largest religion in 20 American states after Christianity that appeared as a dominant faith across the country. The new data was released by the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies, which conducts the U.S. religion census every 10 years. Islam came as the largest non-Christian faith in 20 states, mostly in the Midwest and South. Though there are no official estimates, the U.S. is home to 7 to 8 million Muslims. We have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.